it's a <coughs> great honor for me to be here today. Our friendship with Mr. Shiv Nadar goes long way back, and I have admired him how he has transformed from hardware to software. And now I think the time to <coughs> transform from software to hardware. Uh, I, <coughs> I mean, the, what was said earlier about me, it appears as a matrimonial column. <laughs> and uh, what I want to tell you only one part of it, what are the possibilities in education? India's population is three times that of the United States. So God should have given us three times as many bright people. But the number of PhDs that we produce in this country is not even a fraction of what the United States produces. Should this not be an opportunity for us? No, let me also take, tell you something which I have been working very assiduously is the engineering education. And uh, what I found the engineering education, even in the good engineering college, knowledge of basic sciences is not adequate. How come that the best IIT in India does not figure in the first hundred technical institutes in the world? The the thing is, in most of the universities, the mathematics is taught only in first year. I have said that in my education career at MIT, in masters, I had to take two courses in math. Then there you have 50 colleges in India where the cutoff is 85, 90 percent, 10 plus 2. These students had no coaching, yet when they go to these colleges which are in the university system, their teaching in the disciplines are very lacking. Apart from the thing that it is this university system in this country needs a total overhaul. It's an examining body, once a year exam, and you prepare for the exam. I have worked out some colleges in Maharashtra to show that it's possible. And what is it possible, the, if you take only 50 colleges where the cutoff is 85 or 90, you will produce 6,000 PIDs a year, not 600. Already we have shown where there was no PID students, today 200 PIDs are completing the work. Then there's another, po another thing that you have to look at. How come there's adult illiteracy in this country? There are 100 million adults who do not read, let alone writing. And we have devised, my organization devised a program spread over 30 hours of classwork animations and using hand-me-down computers. In 30 hours, 
we could give them a vocabulary of 500 to 600 words to be able to read a newspaper. This was successful, now government of India has taken it and let us hope that they can work it out that this country will have no illiterates. I can talk to you many of the other things. Same thing is in the field of computers. You're doing $130 billion of work. 15 comes from Indian software, 10 from your hardware, and 105 from exports. How does India benefit? The reason is very simple. All of us speak English even at home. There are 800 million people in this country who do not speak English. Can't we make computers to talk in, uh, in our own languages, just like China has done in Mandarin and Cantonese? I ha we have a problem that we have 22 languages, but it's a soluble problem. And uh, people like myself are doing, working on this, trying to convince IITs, triple IITs, NITs, and some other educational to help. I've, I've just given you a gr small glimpse of what we're you know, we doing our education and all that. But there's so much to do in this country. And the reason is we have to do to bring up this country on the level that, that other countries are. As I said, started out, we are three times the size of the United States. <coughs> and so we should have three times as many bright people as the United States. We have no system of discovering them. And last thought I would like to leave with you, India has no business to be poor.